Ever since the World Cup started, football fever in Rio has gone wild. But stakes are getting high. Just how insane can this soccer party get? And what will happen if Brazil is kicked out? You don't want to miss this one. From a distance, it looks to be just another normal day in Rio. I can assure you, it's not. Yes, we're here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and it's total football fever here. It's game day. Up to this point, it's been smooth sailing, but now tension is rising. Will Brazil keep this football party going on, or will it die in the gutter? <laughs> When there is a World Cup playoff going on, nothing else exists in Brazil. Football is all people care about. Even before the Cup, Brazil was ranked the highest, and so far they have been living up to their reputation. Let's hope that streak continues. On today's schedule, a do-or-die game against Croatia. What will the result be? Maybe 2-0, but it's going to be a tough game. I agree with him, I guess it will be 1-0. Yeah. We're talking to Brazil here, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep, that possibility of defeat doesn't exist in the Brazilian mindset. No one has won more times, and they like to remind of that. Brazil! 2-0. 2-0. Brasil é o melhor país porque porque o Brasil pode tudo. Eu falo, amor, eu falo é melhor porque porque pode tudo, até bandido ser presidente. <laughs> a snap. Take my word for it. Wherever there's a TV, it will be showing the current World Cup game. Por que Brasil? Porque tem que ser, não vai matar. What's the results gonna be this match? Today, ah, Brazil will win easily. Another awesome thing about football in Rio, whenever there's a big international game, these huge sport festivals will pop up in the sands of Copacabana. Just walk right in and experience the true madness of Brazilian football, without paying a thing. You might get hit in the head with a ball though. And just like that, tragedy strikes. My drone loses control and drops stone dead to the ground. And that was the last flight of the drone. Yeah, that one is not getting back up in the air. No time for a funeral right now. Brazil football always trumps the death of a drone. Farewell, trusted friend. You've served me well. Okay, let's just rewind the tape a bit and check the vibe before the previous game against Korea. Por que o Brasil está o melhor país? Porque tem os melhores jogadores do mundo. You feel that positive energy, right? That's football in Brazil. Brazil is the best because. Ah, só sei que eles são bons, são bons mesmo, são jogador caro. Bom, vem nem mal, vem o queixo lubro. Pode botar aí 3 a 0, 3 a 0. No modesty there. Quando eles estão dando 0, 2 a 0 Brasil. Ah! As always, my friend Sidney in the reception knows what he's talking about. Brazil already well on the way to victory. Yes, there's gonna be a party tonight, <laughs> that's for sure. I guess you figured it out by now. Whenever there's a big national happening, Copacabana is always a good place to be. And it seems I'm not the only one who's late for that big football festival. And this right here is just the line to get in and watch the game. And inside, Brazil strikes again. Crap, I'd better get inside there before I miss the whole game. It is hectic times for a working gringo. Also, when going to big events like this, bring only what you need. Security is high, but teams will be waiting. Let's go and win this! Qual país vai ganhar a Copa? 
Brasil! 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 Bora! Oops, just missed another goal. At least we're in, and we're not alone. I gotta say it. If it was this much people during Carnival, I would have been happy. This is like nothing I've seen before. And I mean, we've already missed most of the game. So let's just start with a visit to the watering hole. Which country will win the World Cup? That was the wrong answer. Same, same. You have these, uh, it says Brazil. Why do you have these shirts if you're rooting for so Spain? Good. Oh. It's so good. good. It's <laughs> Sorry, Spain. Better luck next cup. Anyhow, vibe at the festival is good. Even though they've crammed thousands and thousands of people in here, it's not too hard reaching the front stage. A lot of people prefer hanging out in the back, relaxing with their friends. And you know, this game, the winner has already been decided. What país vai ganhar a Copa? Brazil! Por que Brazil? Por que Brazil? Porque é o melhor! Vai Brazil! Brazil! I can't go anywhere in Rio anymore, and the game is turning into a party. We're more or less just waiting for the referee to call it off by now, so people can get that dancing on for real. I can't describe the vibe here as anything else than magical. Is there, is there any better place to be when Brazil is doing good in the World Cup and they, I mean, they almost always do good in the World Cup. I am very happy to be here. And as time is slowly ticking towards the inevitable end, energy in the arena is surging. Maybe just a last one for the road? No. And there we go. Brazil beats Korea quite easily. Now let's move on to the big one. The quarterfinal against Croatia, which on all accounts should be a tougher nut to crack. Just as expected, atmosphere before kickoff is incredible. According to all statistics, this game belongs to Brazil. No chance Croatia would actually win. Brazil starts promising with a few good chances. This is just gonna be a matter of time. But as time is slipping away and no goals have yet been scored, worry starts to spread. What is happening here? Half time and still nothing. I can't even imagine the devastation here if Brazil doesn't win. They have to turn this around. I'm gonna need a drink. The one o'clock beer. <laughs> and as second half starts, all that confidence has washed away. The crowd has stopped dancing entirely. This has turned into a thriller. Nothing is for certain anymore. Until Brazil finally scores. It's all back to normal. People dance and scream, already looking forward to the next game. And then, like a sniper shot from the distance, what the hell is going on? Overtime turns to penalties. And well, it's only downhill from here. Just like that, it's all over. This was not supposed to happen. The feeling amongst people can best be described as shock. People just don't want to realize what just happened. The way people deal with this trauma impresses me deeply. I was expecting rage, even violence. Instead, humble silence. 
I gotta tell you, my Brazilian heart bleeds right now. This was not supposed to happen. This was so unfair. Then, 15 minutes later, music returns. And as if they were returning to the living once more, people slowly start dancing. Then a little more, and a little more. And then, it's party again. How do they do it? They just have an on button for happiness they can press whenever? It's almost like the whole fiasco is forgiven. And meanwhile, the next generation of Brazilian soccer artists refine their skills. I'm not sure if I've told you, but I love this country. <laughs> it's time to get out of this place and see if the rest of the world is still standing. And it turns out, life on the streets of Copacabana is pretty much like normal. It is Friday after all. Who's sitting there all alone at a table? <laughs> what? We got Ronaldinho in here! No, not really. I think I'm ready to leave this behind as well. So, why is Brazil so good? Because we have ah! Because Brazil is the f***ing best since he fell there. I'm uh, sorry, I don't know what is happening. Okay, someone's dying over there. <laughs> Probably best to just call it a day here. And you know, if you like the video, subscribe. And while we're waiting, I cannot do this and they will hate me for it. Let's you jog have a little. I need to pay for all these limes I've wasted. That's what Caipirinha does to you! <laughs> and also, the drone I crashed making this video. Thanks for watching and be safe!